Well, it is Friday. That means it's Faith Friday here <laughs> yes. at GMA 3. That's right. And who I had a hard time keeping the faith this week, didn't you folks? <laughs> be honest. We are all in need of a little hope and a little healing after some of the events we've seen this week. That is <laughs> so true, TJ. The Bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of Washington, the Right Reverend Marian Edgar Buddy, is here with us today. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. And we all know that Wednesday was an unprecedented day for this country. You had some strong words for the president, and we actually have a clip of you speaking at the Washington National Cathedral. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, there has been no fraudulent election. You called your supporters to our Capitol. You fed their wild fantasies and conspiracy theories. You whipped them into a frenzy. This is not acceptable. What are your thoughts about those very protesters who, while they were perpetuating violence in many cases, were also asserting their faith. Well, we're learning more and more about the protesters as days go by. As your own reporting has shown, some were leaders of the most dangerous white supremacist and militia and conspiracy theorist groups in the country. And then there were thousands of people who uh, heeded the president's invitation to come and do his bidding to take back what they perceived to be a stolen election, all of which was fueled, as you have reported, by the deceptions and the collusion of people who forward that agenda. And part of that messaging, as you said, was a distorted uh, misappropriation of Christianity, um, sometimes referred to as white Christian nationalism, which aligns itself and clothes and justifies this action, this movement. And as a Christian leader, I had no choice but to speak out against that, to say that there is nothing in that movement and nothing in the behavior we witnessed that has anything to do with the teachings and the example of Jesus. So did you grapple with kind of jumping right into it or you felt a responsibility, like you said? Well, um, if you'd listened to the entire address, there was a lot of faith and there was a lot of invoking of the spiritual mantle that calls all of us to be engaged in our communities and in the po body politic for the common good. And one of the things that we're called to do, all of us, is to seek the truth, to speak the truth, and to abide by truth. And so there were blatant lies that were being amplified across the country. And yes, I felt obligated, as I think we all must, to um, add our voice to counter what can be such destructive, um, destructive messaging. Reverend, you gave the benediction at the National Democratic Convention. Do you feel that you're partisan? How do you feel about jumping into partisan politics specifically? Well, let me um, amplify your vision of my work just a bit. Remember, I'm the Bishop of the Diocese of Washington, the head of the National Cathedral. I've presided at inauguration services for members of both parties. I presided at funerals for members of both parties. Uh, if the Republican National Committee had invited me to pray, I would have offered the very same prayer. Uh, this wasn't a partisan act on my part. It was an opportunity to invoke the Christian message in the context of the common good. And so, yes, I, I think in, in light of the events of this year, as you mentioned earlier, the global pandemic, the misappropriation of Christian symbols, the assumption on the president's part that he could violently uh, dispel a crowd, walk across Lafayette Square, stand in front of a church that is under my care and hold a Bible as if to justify not only his actions of his day, but to cast a mantle of authority over his actions as a whole. I think the question would be, why wouldn't a spiritual leader be involved, not why did she get involved? That is just a wonderful way to put it. Look, some things, faith, truth are not a left or right issue, and you are spot on. Thank you so much for that. But just finally here, after the week we've seen, and it has been a long one, as you know, um, give us something going into the weekend. A lot of people just looked in sadness at what was happening on Wednesday to our Capitol. Uh, but here we are going into the weekend. And if you can, give us all a message we can take with us. Well, absolutely. But, you know, one of the things that we need to do as a country is we need to grieve this, right? This was a grievous assault on some of the most sacred symbols and 
hallowed halls of our nation and attempt to interrupt the peaceful transfer of political power. So we have some things to grieve as a nation and we need to look at them because as James Baldwin said so powerfully, only those things that we examine and face can be changed. Our corrective tendencies as a country, our capacities to self-correct are strong. We have decency and love of, for one another in this country that we can reclaim. Exactly what we needed to hear on this Friday after this week. Wow, we certainly appreciate it. Right, Reverend Marianne Edgar Buddy, thank you. Thank you, thank you for joining us today. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. You certainly made ours already better. Thank you. Thank you. We should have her back Monday through Friday. <laughs> All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.